You reap what you sow. <laughs> you reap what you sow. <laughs> you should know, know, know. What you plant is what you grow. I liked that song when I was a little girl. You know what I'm saying? Little girl, little girl growing up. And it used to be on the uh, Trinity Broadcasting Network. And I must say, even throughout my travels, my divinations and journeys and things of that nature, no truer words have ever been created. You reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. You reap. You should know, no, no. What you plant is what you grow. Yo, that's karma. You know what I'm saying? In case some of y'all have been duped. And don't believe in karma because some foolish ass practitioner has told you that all energy is simply energy. Baby, no, it's just not. It's just not. All energy is not simply just energy. You cultivate the energy that comes to you. You do this through the law of rhythm. You do this through the law of polarity. You do this through... <coughs> The law of mentalism. All of the hermetic principles apply here because any of these laws can incur you some karma because you reap what you sow. Hey, you reap what you sow. You reap, you should know, no, no. What you plant is what you grow. Interesting enough, you have people who don't believe fat meat greasy. And as much as you try to explain to a motherfucker not to do that, you know, people just don't listen. They don't believe that fat meat is greasy. And so when you try to stay in the light, and vibrate high. You know what I'm talking about? Sometimes you let shit slide. And sometimes people think because you let some shit slide. That you're weak. Or they can just do anything to you. And there becomes a point in time. When you have to lift that left hand. We all got a pimple. This brother is poppy. There's a point in time when you have to lift your left hand and it does not feel good. I don't particularly like lifting my left hand because my magic works. <laughs> and when I lift the left hand, well, you reap what you sow. You reap what you sow. You reap. You should know, no, no. What you plant is where you grow. Interesting today, too, because <clears throat> it was just kind of an emergency situation that popped up. And I didn't know, you know what I'm saying, I was going to be doing... Some baneful working today. Matter of fact, when I got up this morning and took my spiritual bath and went into meditation sitting in the water, my meditation was about the spring and how things grow. And you know, usually you do baneful things, you know, in the you know, the winter time, the cold months, stuff like that. The universe said, I have a lesson to show you. <laughs> Because in the spring, I had to perform some left-handed magic. In the spring. 
So that means everything that you grow is going to reek of everything that you have sown. And I, when Spirit came to me and said, this is what you must do. It made me sad. It makes me sad. Because life is hard. You know, just going through the regular motions of life. And to know that I have to put this Mars energy into the universe for a lesson to be instituted. It's kind of heartbreaking. It's sad. It's very sad. Very, very, very sad. But I tell you what. Once the working begins, the sorrow was gone. I don't feel sorry anymore because at this point you have deserved what the fuck is coming to you okay this is why we must divine every situation you should not do baneful magic because you're angry no never do baneful magic when you're angry. Because see. We have a limited perspective. You know. And. People may not understand. Everything that went into a situation. For a situation to end up the way it was. And so they might not really. Grasp the concept. That. What happened to them was unfortunate. But it wasn't something that was intentionally done or meant to be malicious towards them. It's just the way life happens sometimes. And when you go and you do baneful work to people like that, like what I said before, you reap what you sow. That's really bothering me, y'all. That's another thing. I didn't get up and get glamorized today. It is amazing how spirit works. Because... Why be cute when you on the battlefield for my Lord? Why? You don't need to be cute for that. You need to be warlike. I look like a war. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but. Built up the emotions that I needed to build up in order to, you know, fight this spiritual battle. Mm-hmm. And, um, yeah, spiritual warfare, man, y'all, shit is real. The shit is real. You should never, you know what I'm saying, take pleasure. I ain't gonna say never, because, you know, we human shit. Sometimes the motherfucker gets the city, you can't do nothing. You, you can't help yourself. It, it's just pleasurable. But, and you know, unless you a deep, dark, magic-working motherfucker... You should really be happy when, um, you know, bad things happen to people or you have to do some baneful magic to somebody because, you know, it really is a, a, a really sad thing. Because, like I said, life is already hard. But what you need to do, <laughs> if you are not already vibrating at a high level when you do this shit, this shit can kill your vibration, okay? And then you got to do workings to bring your vibration back up so you can miss this pendulum when it comes back around because if you push it it's coming back to hit your ass okay it's gonna hit you so you gotta make sure that you know what i'm saying you ain't the motherfucker standing there when that shit come back to blow on your ass all right but if you are a person that practices good you know what i'm saying probably can take a blow or two probably won't you know bother you that much you probably don't have to do anything but if you don't want to run that risk you know what i'm saying go ahead and you know do the things that you need to do to re-raise your vibration from the work that you did you know because like i said it, it what goes around comes around mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. one day down the line you will know that's why you want to always, always make sure you're working in justice you know and that don't mean be a a, a, a hot topic you know a, a, a hot box and just blow off on everybody as soon as you get mad 
it's not a good way to do bang for workings, okay? But I just wanted to share that with y'all because <laughs> what a way to start a Mars Day. Mm -mm -mm.